to do it some more. <laughs> I was a little kid growing up in a small town in Wisconsin. So Veterans Day from 1977 to 1995 for me was everybody went to church. It was either Catholic or Lutheran. Those were your only choices. Everybody went to church. And then you went to the town square where all the fathers, who were all Vietnam vets, marched down Main Street. Then you went to Grandpa's house. And Grandpa and all the other World War II vets and some of those crazy uncles who served in Korea would sit around and listen to cheesy, patriotic music. As a little kid, we'd make plays, we'd dance to them. Grandpa had made me record the same song over and over and over on a tape, both sides. So all he had to do was flip it. So for four hours, I got to listen to these wonderful, cheesy songs. In 1996, I raised my right hand for the first time and made that oath. I took that oath and I thought I was a patriot. I was proud of myself. I was making my grandfather, my father, my uncle proud of me. Then September 11th happened. Everybody remembers that day. And at that day, on that day, every single house in America had a flag out front Someone standing proud right next to that flag saying, we are Americans, we will win this war, we will fight, we will stand together. Within a few months, I was in Afghanistan. And on my way home from Afghanistan, I was told I was going straight to Iraq. Most of our equipment never even hit home station. So, I got a little bit of liberty. <laughs> 